Welcome to the Granby Board of Assessors meeting, July 29, 2024. I'm going to call the meeting to order at 6.05 p.m. Where it's a balmy 68, 69 degrees. I opened the window. Oh, yeah. Could be worse. The air conditioner's not working. I, I think it shuts down at a certain time. Or maybe it's on a timer on the remote. Yeah. We have meeting minutes for June 17, 2024. July. That's what I meant. I, I oh, wasn't out so I can't vote. Right. Okay, correction. That's July. <laughs> I wrote on this. No, you're doing the June minutes first. It should be July. It should be July. The, the oh, is it? Okay. Correct. But we, we didn't have a meeting July 17th plus July 22nd. I didn't make the agenda. <laughs> it was, oh, it is it's June, June 17th. It, it says June. right here, July 17th. It's June 17th. It is June. They were so you're, Greg was wrong. Is it possible I could be wrong? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you yes. Think so. You want to take a vote? <laughs> you didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very much so. We're going to make a correction to our minutes. It should be... Well, the minutes are correct. What if wrong? The agenda is correct. The minutes are incorrect. So it's of July 17th, it's June 17th. Greg, the executive session you have right, June 17th. Yeah. <laughs> so you're one for two. Perfect. I make a motion we accept the minutes of June 17th, uh, regular meeting, where Dakota and I were at. I make a second out of necessity. All, All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? I have to sign this. 2-0. I make a motion we accept Accept the minutes of July 7, June 17th for executive session. I will second out of necessity. All those in favor? Aye. And I will second out of necessity. And we have minutes from July 22nd, 2024. This uh, Commonwealth unemployment assistance was a something we received last meeting. Yes. Do you have a copy of that? I think I. I will get you a copy of it. I make a motion. We accept the minutes of July twenty second, twenty twenty four. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Two nothing. Any discussion? You jump right around that all the time. Well, if we accept it, then we don't need discussion. The discussion's supposed to be before. <laughs> <laughs> I make the motion we accept the meeting of the executive session of July 22nd, 2024. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Three zero. Done. Motor vehicle excise abatement forms. Three of them. That's a much more reasonable number. I tried. <laughs> Three a week's fine. These are signed here. House up by you sell yet? Nope. Has what? The house up by you sell yet? No. What, I mean, I was going to ask you, not necessarily during the meeting. Oh. Is real estate really slow? Well, we'll talk after. Okay. I haven't even seen people going through it, but that doesn't mean they haven't been. I don't sit there and watch. <laughs> no. Can you tell me a better stuff to do? <laughs> You're always on vacation. That's they, why. They were back working on it today. I don't know what they're doing. Really?
We're rescinding motor vehicle abatements. Just one of them. Yeah, because we can't. Um, mass rules are we can't get back five dollars. We can't take. So this was less than five dollars. Yeah. Three dollars and twenty-five cents. So we can't cents. get back. So it's how much? Three dollars and twenty-five cents. We're just good. <laughs> yes. That's what I want to work on. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck to you. I wish you the best. Uh, let's see. Motor vehicle excise abatement and commitment. Motor vehicle excise abatement rescinded. Warning commitment, and then we have payroll from Michelle. Is that how this, what this is? Friday, right? Friday the 19th, you're out. On a Friday. Friday the 19th, you're out? Yes. Bills payable in the amount of six hundred and seventeen dollars and fifty cents. Looks like uh, summer school. Do we want to list those in the minutes? The specific bills. I'm just asking a question. Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. I was just going to read them. The secretary. Hampshire. Uh, Hampshire. <laughs> Hampshire County Registry of Deeds for seventeen dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. And then some M A A O summer school tuition, six hundred dollars. And that's just the tuition, or that's everything? Nope. Does anybody remember what tuition was last year? That was tuition, I think it was the same, or like just 550. Curious. So this is just the course, correct? That's just the course. I didn't know if you guys were going to approve it, so... I don't know what you want to do with the overnight, or if you're going to approve the school. And is this course five? It's course five. Mass appraisal for real estate. Do you have a printout of what you they're offering? So oh. But, you know, she has a you don't get that website name? connection. Um, Any discussion about bills payable? No. I think the registry of deeds is out of like, mind. <laughs> like everything that's being offered? Yeah. For the or the schedule. I, I think I think we got an email about that, Greg. Right? Yeah, I knew, I wanted to print it out. Yeah, you're lucky. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't have don't <clears throat> The class is offered, or the is it? I it has tui has tuition gone up? I don't remember it being six hundred dollars before. It must have. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's else. Uh, by virtue. I mean, everything of else has gone up. So. Right. By virtue of the fact that we're holding it at a provi private convention center versus UMass. Yeah. Now, Jay, and I haven't been able to get more information out of him, Jay says that uh, they got into a bit of a pissing contest on camera. Um, <laughs> You're good. Last year. And so somebody said, that's it. Which I think is not really probably the best response. Now, mm -hmm. a better response would be, you know, switching up the location every other year or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's valid. Well, but. There's UMass Worcester. There's got to be a conference room there that you can use. Is that now, where it's actually being it held? Yeah, just outside of Worcester. Oh. Southbridge. Well, Southbridge is quite a ways from Worcester. Southbridge is right near Sturbridge. Right, but it's in there. Yes, yes. It's well, so it's only it's under an hour to get there. It's, it's about 40 minutes to get there. Yeah, yeah. it's not too far. 25 miles. 
Yeah. So, it's a nice ride. my suggestion, aside from the fact that it's a nice ride, um, are we doing this now or later? All right. Here's the chair. He's joking. Yep. Look at the agenda. <laughs> Done. Uh, Roy certification status. Roy How's my buddy Roy? Has he been here since the last time we met? No. Has he, he reached out to you since the last time? Yes, years? and he mentioned, yeah. So he's just checking in and seeing where we're at. And I probably should have moved that down to the executive session. I'm not sure. For recertification? Well, if you talk about the specifics. That was me. Oh. There is more to that at the bottom. Under the DLS data quality. Okay. Which is under executive session, so we can circle yeah. back to that. <coughs> You want to read this? So do we have a copy of this DQS? We're going to talk about that later on? Yes, executive session. Okay. Right. So I'm going to leave this out yep. until we get to it. Um. <clears throat> what was left to free cash? So, Overlay. Yes. It's a balance with the scooter 2023. The overlay, yeah. So part of the tax classification, we're supposed to put money aside for any abatements or um, real estate abatements that come in. We don't do that in our group, Chris does it. So the money that's left over that he puts aside, which was that 220 something thousand, Two hundred and ten thousand dollars and forty-four cents. If there's still money in it, it goes to free cash. So my question was, is what's left over and out of that two hundred and ten thousand dollars? And if there is, can we use that for our budget? That was my question. But I didn't know if I should bring that directly to him or if. One of you wanted have, to ask, or we've you? never done that, have we? Never done. I mean, how much are we really talking about? I have no idea. Only he knows. Yeah. He has I mean, Chris. we've certainly yeah. we've certainly survived without it. Yeah. Survived isn't even the right word. Got yeah. along without it. Yeah. But it'd be good that to know. Right. I mean, you're going to need that overlay number for but, tax purposes. But, but Chris does that, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so why are we duplicating what he does? She wants to know what's left to see if we could use it if we needed to. That's what Michelle's asking for the balance so we know what was left over that went to free cash if we needed it. But we certainly can't spend that kind of money. It's it's. No, it's what that's not the it's balance. Not, it's, that's that was the, the beginning balance. balance. I understand that. Yeah. Oh, I, I agree. I'm just saying what she's asking. I think the answer would be, and if I were the town accountant and town administrator, the answer would be, if you need more money, that's the purpose of folding money into free cash. Okay. Make a separate request okay. to pull it out of free cash. I, I think it's irrelevant. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking... But it'd be good to know what the number is, just for who has. We're going to mention all that number anyways. Or for school. Well, I think we probably have to ask for it. But I'm certain he doesn't have that number yet either. 
the balance? Correct. What exactly did you want to use it for in our budget? Just if we needed it for school or meetings or other things that may fall short. We, we can't use that in our regular budget. That would far exceed the 3% increase. It's only for abatements and exemptions. But once it goes to free cash, we'd have to put I a was request wondering if we could it. use it out of the free cash. No. It's free, free cash in the town. Specific request for it. Yeah. Right. Right. It's no, free I cash understand that. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but it was just a question. Received. Received. Did you get the. Do you understand the answer? Yes. Okay. It automatically goes back into free cash. I mean, any time that if we fell short like we did last year, we could make a request, but it has to yeah, be. I mean, we've fit. done that. I know of twice. Once being last year, right? We need we go to the yeah. finance committee, right? Well, it has to be seen fit to right. approve. That's twice out of twenty-seven years. Uh, twenty-seven for you, only twenty-one for right. me. Right. Well, it's important to know we had a new chair. Right. I thrown it up. The two chairs are sitting in our new. They were donated <laughs> from the collector's office. <laughs> Cyclical inspections, fiscal year 2025. These are completed if they're highlighted or outstanding if they're highlighted? Outstanding if they're highlighted. That's for this year now. Yes, 25. We are good. Welcome. Better late than ever to the new fiscal year. So, the size of the freaking new construction is unbelievable. So, I mean, we tend to do these either in the fall or in the spring. But she's just giving us a list of what streets. Okay. So we're fully caught up at this point. Yes. So I updated what you just did, and then I just highlighted what's coming up. Okay. So this is proposed for 25. This Which fiscal year. I only see one street on here that's very long. All the rest of them are pretty short. That means you only want the long one? No, he wants the traffic. School Street, so, so we'll give that to you. <laughs> School Street's got some nice traffic on it. And it, Greg and I'll split all the short streets. <laughs> Good guys. I don't know if you'll be able to fit it in, in between your vacations. <laughs> all right. Okay. Received. We've got the password for the it, car email. Is there we'll a reason to, just this top one is multicolored? Well, because she, these are copies. That's probably the original. Yeah, that's the original. Oh, and they didn't come out on this? Yeah. We don't have a color copier. And they came out pretty bad. How which is which, your... What do you want back? <coughs> the top one. Are you going to keep one? The top one. Did you want to keep one? I'll take one if you may want, want to copy it up So for you me. can take the colored copied one. You sure? Yeah. I'll look at them come fall. East Street, South Hadley is new construction. That could just be back land that's on us. Yeah. I don't it's think, just I, think it, I think it was a, a little ranch that was for sale. Do you know anything about the South Street or Bachelor Street ones, the first two? The Bachelor Street one. 173, that was a bank owned. Yeah. It's across from Greg. Yep. And so oh, the I other see. one the other one, South Street, was a short sale. Okay. So all the other sales, is prices are still not very many of them, but they're selling for more than what we got them assessed for. They're, um, yeah, South Street was a short sale and okay. uh, Bachelor Street was a foreclosure. So 7 School Street went for 650 That's a new construction, isn't it? School Street. 7 School Street was one. 7 School Street, no, that's not a new one. That's, that's the one next to Forge Pond. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I brought. Yeah. Yes. No, that's 
That's an existing house. Yeah. yeah, it's the one that next to Forge Pond. Yes, yes. The old cookhouse. <clears throat> Any questions? Two thirty one chicken street. Okay. Nope. We're in a ballpark. 56 Harris Street updates. So if that house was... Is this was an updated card? Is that oh, what, what? I don't understand what this means. So if the house was gutted and redone completely, do we change the date? I have no idea how to, the computer does that. We don't do that. Well, she could read in the... Effective we, date. we can. Okay. If it's gutted, we can update it so it's now as of. All right. I don't think the house was totally gutted. It was renovated, but I'm not. I would not use the word gutted. Okay. The way it was described to me. Okay. When I, when when I went through it with the with the. What do you describe gutted as? To me, gutted means you go right. You take go all the way back to the studs. Yep. Take sheetrock off and everything goes right back to the studs. Yep. That's gutted. And then once that happens, then we are allowed to change the, the year build. Well, I don't know how this ch changes. I don't know if this changes automatically or we actually manually change it. We override it. Okay. Okay. The, the, from my perspective, from the way I was told, this was not guttered. Okay. It was certainly renovated, but it wasn't guttered. Okay. I just wanted to put that question out there. Yeah. It's a great question. I been in it. It's a great question. For a couple I haven't of years. been in it. Um, how's the value as it stands now? It needs updating, so the value is not. But this is not updated. No, huh. I don't think so. It from the with the with the renovation, plus the increase in value. So you, they're both in there. It went from three twenty eight to five eleven. It's a little more accurate. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. But I have to change it to electric and yeah. stuff. And that's my fallback on effective year built. If we're in the ballpark of the value, then to me, and I could be wrong, there's not much reason to change it. No, it's a good, good point. So is this your question? That was my yeah. question. Oh. And that might not always be the case. It's like maybe fifty percent of the case, um, but changing the effective year bill will get it up to the value that we're looking for. That concludes the, the regularly scheduled meeting. Do you have anything else for us before we go into executive session? Nope. Six twenty-eight. Yes, I'm out of here. Meeting at six twenty-eight. To go into executive session you to only come out you to adjourn the meeting. Me right now. <coughs> we just fly. What time did we start this meeting? 6.05. 6.05. Wow.